Hey guys, welcome back. Now I have here the SLR Magic Hyper Prime, which is a 50 mm with 0.95 aperture. I have mounted this lens onto the GFX. I'm gonna cut to the crap and say, do not use this lens on a medium format. The Hyper Prime does not cover medium format and makes these really annoying black corners in still shots. But in the video mode, it's pretty okay. Actually, I think it's pretty darn good. And yes, of course, you can always remove these black corners uh, during post-processing. But there are a couple of things I'm really curious about. Number one is obviously uh, this full frame lens. Would it cover a medium format camera? If it doesn't cover a medium format, how, do, how would I like the outcome? And the answer is pretty obvious. I hate these black corners. Yeah, I mean, like for the first few shots, uh, you might say like, oh, wow, it looks so vintage. But man, after making like 10, 20 shots, you know, these black corners, they really creep up to you and they just annoy the hell out of me. And guys, don't get me wrong. I am not bashing this uh, SLR Magic. I honestly think this is a really good lens. I mean, just look at these video clips. They were all ticking at uh, 0.95 wide open. So is this lens as good as um, the Leica no Noctilus? I don't know. I don't have the Noctilux. But let's face it. Leica is a premium brand with a long history and you know what I get some really weird pride just carrying a Leica camera around my neck but I don't get the sense of macho-ness when I was roaming around the street with the uh, SLR Magic so I guess what I'm trying to say is optically it doesn't really matter if SLR Magic is better or worse than a Leica and another disadvantage SLR Magic has is the resale value there simply isn't another brand as good as Leica to hold the value of a camera or a lens. So why on earth uh, did I get a Hyper Prime in the first place? The answer is why not? It is because of this lens I realized my eyes are not good enough to shoot at wide open, um, especially at 0.95. Even at nighttime, I would still prefer to stop it down to all the way to 2.8. I mean, seriously, think about it. All these new cameras, they have this really clean ISO. You jack the ISO all the way up up to 10,000 and you still get a very clean image. How I see it, I think like 0.95 is beyond any practical photography. But obviously, if you're looking from the creative point of view, yes, the 0.95 does open up uh, more room in terms of creativity. But sadly, that's something that I do not have. Additionally, this lens is heavy and it is bulky. I didn't really enjoy using it with the Panasonic GH4. It gets slightly better when I pair this lens with the Leica SL. But to my surprise, the best handling combination is the Hyper Prime plus the Fuji GFX. It's surprisingly very, very well balanced. I felt it's actually easier to change uh, the aperture as well as the focusing ring on the GFX more so than on the GH4 or even the Leica SL. And the flipping screen of the GFX is so useful, both for video and still shots. Well, this GFX, it's a total powerhouse. And if it has a video log mode, I might actually switch to the GFX to make videos. Look, I'm a, I'm a very shallow guy. Having a tilt screen in a camera is really, really important to me. I'm too cheap and I'm too lazy to carry an external screen. Well, anyhow, um, making this video has taught me one thing. This Hyper Prime is a lot, a lot better than I thought earlier. I will continue to use it with the GFX for videos, not still shots. Well, the Hyper Prime that I've got, it's in um, like an M mount. But the thing is, this lens is too big for a rangefinder. I like my rangefinder to be compact and small. And it's downright butt ugly on this monochrome. Well, just look at it. It doesn't feel right. So I guess I'm going to put this adapter permanently onto this Hyper Prime to be used on the GFX. And because this whole setup is so nicely balanced, it doesn't really feel that heavy. And oh yeah, um, there's one thing I don't like about the GFX is the battery. The darn thing dries up too quickly. So Fuji, I know you're not watching this. Um, I just want to say this is a really good camera. It just needs some minor tweaking. That's all. Alright guys, that's about it for this episode. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, go out and press your camera shutter instead. Because really, that's all it matters. Right now, I'm making a video about this really butt ugly lens mounted on the GFX. So I will see you guys next week. Bye!